What's going on YouTube and welcome back Uncommon Sense Fam and Clan. This video is a fragrance community tag challenge. This tag was issued by Emmy's World of Fragrance. So if you like this type of content and you're a frag head like I am, you won't want to miss this. You're going to want to stick around and stay in your seat because we are about to get into this thing. Let's go. Thank you guys first and foremost for all of your love and support and your patience because I needed to put this video out a while ago but as life would have it other projects took priority and I needed to be flexible remember lessons of flexibility right I just want to thank you guys for your patience with this process because this has been a long time in the making we've had a quite a few great things happen on the channel one we've reached over 2,000 subscribers yes! thank you thank you thank you everybody thank you guys for all of your love and support the likes the comments the follows the reposts the sharing coming to the live streams and secondly we recently got monetized yeah. so i'm very excited to continue to grow this channel because i want to continue to bring you guys the best content and present the best version of me and how we at uncommon sense do things right so this is how it's gonna go we're gonna kick off the My Fragrance Community tag by asking a couple of questions. Those questions are gonna include, who was the creator that makes you laugh? It was challenging to kind of whittle this down to just one, so I actually ended up picking two. I'm always looking to be the exception to the rules and changing the rules, right? Today's no different. Big Beer Business. Big Beer Business is a creator in the form of fragrance reviews, etc., and he had a very interesting and unique approach to reviewing fragrances. He says, the box, trash is a box so shout out to big beer business and thank you for the inspiration and continue to provide excellent content another creator that makes me laugh is cubano cubano is a jokester big time cubano <laughs> introduced me to fragrances that were ball sprayers to fragrances that i probably wouldn't have ever given a shot had i not seen on his channel who is the creator that teaches you man a creator that teaches me, I don't think I can whittle it down to just one. First up is going to be Steven from Red Alessa. Drake Doc. Drake Doc is another content creator taught me a thing or 12 about fragrances I'd never heard of. Fragrances and what their properties are. Another content creator that teaches me is the Style OG. Another content creator that teaches me is Russell Anderson. Russell has taught me so much about how YouTube works. Another creator that teaches me is Mr. Smelly1977. I actually learned so many different things about the history of perfumery from Mr. Smelly1977. Another content creator that always teaches me something is Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Who is the creator that lifts others up? First up, Heath from The Fragrant Life. He also was one of the first individuals to actually put me as a shout out. Appreciate you, bro. Another creator that is lifting others up in the fragrance community is Barry from Centralized. Barry actually does a segment where he highlights new up and coming reviewers and that's one of the most selfless things I've ever seen within the fragrance community. Another creative that is always lifting others up, including myself, is Maria Collette. I came into contact with Maria Collette and actually did the My Fragrance Journey Challenge. Maria Collette is just a sweet individual and she has one of the purest hearts that I've ever met anywhere. Who is the creator that you respect? I cannot just pick one individual because I respect any and everybody that one shows me respect. I have a newfound respect for creators because this process takes a lot of time, energy, and dedication to see through. One individual that I ultimately respect is Patrick T from Panoi Kiwi Scent. Patrick T has been one very supportive, engaging, inclusive, and I just really respect his fragrance taste. Another creator that I absolutely respect is Joy Amin. Joy Amin actually commented on one of my videos like, Yo, <laughs> Joya Mean took the time to write a comment on my video. He actually watched my video. It just like, 
Another creative that I absolutely respect is the original dog man, John Castro. John Castro will support you anytime he sees you on live. He gets in your live stream. He's active. He supports your content. He comments. He includes you in challenges. Because <laughs> again, John Castro is a dope individual who keeps it 100% real and 100% honest. Off the cuff. Gotta respect that. Another content creator who I absolutely respect is Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Bowtie Fragrance Guy has amazing taste and style, fashion, fragrance. Nothing but the utmost respect for Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Another creator that I just absolutely respect is Sam Brown. I came into noticing Sam Brown maybe about a year and a half ago. We comment, I've been on Sam Brown's live stream, Impromptu. He's a dope individual, he's engaging. He's welcoming, and again, he has excellent fragrance taste, and he also talks about fragrances that everybody is not talking about, and that's something that I gravitate toward because, again, being uncommon sense, we always want to bring content that is not already out there. That's what we're supposed to do as creatives. Even if somebody has done a review on the same fragrance, we're supposed to bring something new and fresh to the content community. Another content creator who I absolutely respect is Chad from Gentleman's Journey. He's an OG in the game and I respect individuals who bring fresh content. Chad also reached out to me when I was having a hard time finding some fragrances and sent me a message and gave me some reputable sites to check out for a sample. But that's what I actually like about the fragrance community. Individuals come together and they help each other out. Who is the creator whose collection you love? Do y'all got time? Because I could go on and on about whose fragrance collection I love. But we're going to try to keep it brief and succinct for the sake of this video, right? First and foremost, I absolutely love Eric from Centrifugal Forces collection. My man has an amazing Massera collection, but he also has an Uncommon Sense collection. Things that I've never heard about, never would have thought to think of, never would have probably ever experienced had I not come into contact with him. Another content creator whose fragrance collection I absolutely adore is Dr. Rose Chaperon from the Perfume Corner. Dr. Rose Chaperon has a collection that is out of this world. <laughs> That's my sister from another mister. Every time we come into contact, she will either let me know about a new fragrance or send me a sample or tell me what fragrance is on sale. Dr. Rose Chaperon has an amazing collection, but she's so generous of heart, her time, all of that. So I love her collection and I love her as a person. Another creator whose fragrance collection I absolutely adore is experiencing fragrances with Amina. Amina's let me tell y'all something. Amina's collection is one for the gods. Her collection includes a lot of different things you would never think to smell. But Amina is very outgoing in her fragrance taste. And that cues me in to explore just a little bit more, come out of my comfort zones. Another individual whose fragrance collection I absolutely adore is Equality Fragrance. Equality has an amazing collection. He has a very eclectic taste. I just came into contact with him earlier this year, but dope creative, dope channel. He has amazing energy. Another creative whose collection is one for the gods is Coach Rob. I like how Coach Rob does his thing. His wall on the back, every time I watch one of his videos, I'm trying to pick it out and see, okay, what's new? This group of creatives consistently brings the creative heat. So they keep me on my toes and I appreciate that they hold me accountable. Little do they know, or maybe big do they know, to continue to strive to provide content that's not already out there and also bring fragrances forward that are not actually in rotation and not on everybody's lips. Who is the creator who inspired you to start a channel? First and foremost, my man Imitsu was simply put sense. I loved how Imitsu came with the story. He infused his personality. He brought fragrances that I had not heard much about, but he also educated in such a way it was easily digestible along with being entertaining. I miss Imitsu's reviews because Imitsu has been very influential on the fragrances that I've come to learn that I like. Few of them actually being CH Men, Chic, Jessica Simpson, Fancy Nights. He actually also introduced to me that it was okay to step outside my normal box and experience fragrances intended and marketed toward women for me to try them on my own. 
He was one of the first reviewers I saw that said and did things like that. Another, JC. JC is one of the coolest, smoothest brothers in Fradcom. He allowed me to see that you could get on camera and be your complete self. Whether that's if you're turned up, turned down, chill, hyper, each and every review. He stands on what he says and I support and respect that brother. JC is another individual that supports back. See, like commenting on one of my videos, I thought I had made it. <laughs> I thought I was the shit. <laughs> Could tell me nothing. Another creative that inspired me to start a channel was Dan from Sanded Waters. Dan is just down to earth, as his channel implies. At the end of every video, brings it all back home with, at the end, it's still sending water. Dan is a no fuss, no must type of guy. Regardless to the level of niche quality, etc., Dan is even keel. Coming into content creation and Fradcom, there wasn't a lot of representation at the time when I first started my channel roughly about three years ago. So, since I didn't see a whole lot of individuals that looked like me, showed up like I show up, I figured it was my responsibility to do that thing. In addition to content creation, because this, this really just started out as me sharing my fragrances and the things that I've experienced. Self-care, it's fragrances, fashion, style, sneak peek. That's my sneak, I've been showcasing that for a while. But soon we'll have a live video to unbox the sneaker itself, talk more about that, as well as a few products that I have coming out. So, shameless plug. Who is a creator that you would like to meet in real life? Aside from all of the individuals that I just mentioned, up to this point, we're gonna add a few. Tara from Olfactophile, Brother Reviews from The Six, AKA Fred Head Said, Naps and Nurture, my boy Mike McNeese, my brother from another mother, Lucas Poe, Coco Pebs, who is the creator that you hope to see grow? To name a few, Bright Grow, Bryce, I definitely want to see him grow. My man F.A., Fragrance Anatomy, Amador, I definitely want to see him grow. All of the individuals that I've mentioned up to this point, I want to see them continue to grow. Nika Marks, last but not least, I want to see every individual in this YouTube community grow, whether it's fragrance, health, beauty, fashion. I want to see content creators continue to grow as they do their thing. Who is a creator that gives off great vibes? Eve Spider Smells. Eve is a content creator who goes deeper than just fragrance reviews. She gets into the house history. She talks about things that a lot of people are afraid to talk about. So, mad respect to Eve, and I definitely believe she gives off good vibes. Hilly from the Bureau, Nerdy Fragrance Reviews, she gives off some of the best vibes. She also has an excellent fragrance taste as well, so. Trey Sense, and Trey gives it to you straight, no chaser. Gives off some of the dopest vibes. Trey seems like the type of individual, like from Poetic Jesse, you pull up to the barbecue, he'll let you go get a plate. But Trey brings other fragrances into the fold that a lot of people are not talking about, whether they're inexpensive fragrances, cheapies, body oils, or roll-ons, and all types of things that a lot of fragrance reviewers are not having a lot of discussion about. Trey is all on top of it. Fragrance test tube. Eva is, she is just one of the purest individuals. She is so dope and gives off some of the best positive vibes. Honorable mentions, I'm gonna tell y'all now, this way, but this is gonna get lit. Cause it's so many individuals that I've come into contact with that are pure of heart, engaging, generous, kind. Centaur Fragrance, Honest Scents, Jamil Wilcox, Bel Air Scent, Leron Review, Jay Holloway Perfumes with Pat, Gids from I Am Gids, Dasha David, Tekken All Day, Deborah Day, The Fragrance Enabler, Tyree Beatty, Chill Mode, Jay Holloway, Ash, Sultan of Scent, Aram, Sancho, and a special shout out to all the individuals that have shown me support, shown up to my live stream, I'll put things in the super chat, sent super stickers, all those different things that you guys did not have to do to show me the love and support that you've shown me. You guys are what keep me going in the days where I don't don't feel like doing this or I don't feel like moving forward. Knowing that I have a support system of individuals who show up and show out and support fully, that's the one of the best gifts that you guys can give. So again, to shout you guys out, Mama Westboy, Dion Greenwich, Kiana from Kiana Vision, Slim Jim, the GOAT, I am the Jad, Jad, Zogi the Gemini, Coco Lee, Terrence from Terrence the Realist, 
Real Talk 87, Diamond from Diamond TV, Misty L, Akesia Wash, Cameron Kilbasa, Drea Renee, Sunflower, Mama Chaperone, Brozo. All you, all you individuals really, really have shown me love and support, and I am so very thankful for each and every one of you. And again, I thank you guys for sticking around and watching this content. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, top to sides, all the way around and underneath. It's been your boy Uncommon Sense, and I'm out. Till next time. Wait, did you check out the shirt? You guys know I love a good graphic tee. This one's from One Mission. We're gonna link them and tag them. I found them on Instagram. They have amazing graphic tees. They support creators. And pat out, shout out. Likewise, you support me, I'ma support you. Bingo, bango, lemon tango. Ready to go. Boom.